Hemorrhagic leg encephalitis is the most severe form or variant of acute disseminated encephalomyelitis. So if you have a patient after an infection or vaccination that you've initially diagnosed with ADEM and that deteriorates much quicker than you would think, this hemorrhagic variant is a good option to consider. This is a patient with MRIs only three days apart, where on the initial scan you can see the patchy white matter abnormalities resembling ADEM. But after three days, there's very rapid progression of the white matter abnormalities and a lot of brain edema. The hemorrhages in this hemorrhagic variant are best detected on gradient and susceptibility weighted images, as you can see in the corpus callosum and also hemorrhages in the leptomeninges in this patient. The cortex is usually relatively spared. The demyelination in the hemorrhagic variant occurs late in the disease. And this has been shown in patients who unfortunately died very quickly after onset of, of symptoms. So in this patient, they did an abduction and they saw a lot of hemorrhages in the brainstem at the level of the inferior olivary nucleus that you can recognize here. And there were perivascular infiltrates and microhemorrhages, but no demyelination in the early stage of the disease. In the differential diagnosis, you can think of herpes encephalitis. This also gives hemorrhages sometimes. Herpes usually involves the temporal lobes, so if they are spared on imaging, and if CSF, which is usually a very quick diagnostic test, is negative for herpes simplex virus encephalitis, you can consider the hemorrhagic variant of ADEM. With the recent pandemic, there are a lot of things that have been described in COVID, also a so-called diffuse leuk encephalopathy and microhemorrhages in patients in their 30s and 40s. The hemorrhages in the COVID patients were sometimes located more in the periphery than in the patients with acute hemorrhagic leuk encephalopathy. But in some of the patients, they were also located in the corpus callosum. But the confounding factor was that these patients had been on mechanical ventilation as well. So that might have contributed to the hemorrhages superimposed on the inflammation of the white matter. ADEM and the hemorrhagic variant are very severe post-viral or post-vaccination forms of encephalitis. There's also a mild form of encephalitis after infection or vaccination, and we're going to have a look at that next.